Good morning, everybody. I'm pleased to be here today to present you a case study in low GWP refrigerant and energy efficiency, and to show you how we can implement this uh, solution designed and engineered for excellence by Honeywell's for a typically um, hypermarket with a critical uh, supermarket as case study. My name is Mohamed Yubi Adresi. I'm a technical leader for uh, EMEA zone, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Uh, this is a short uh, CV uh, you can uh, uh, show that uh, after. So for this uh, presentation, uh, before to go more deeper on the uh, case study itself, um, I would like to give you an overview about uh, the use of our solutions for uh, food retail uh, stores, generally speaking. In fact, our solutions, our low GWP refrigerant can be applied for uh, at minimum uh, three applications for, for the retails. The first one is the refrigeration itself. The second one is the insulation. And the third one is the heating and air conditioning. For the refrigeration, for example, the use of uh, solid state refrigerant can help to improve the environmental impact of uh, stores and to reduce the CO2 footprint by at least 15%. Uh, uh, For the impact on total cost of ownership, we can reduce uh, the TCO by 20%. The reduction of TCO comes, in fact, from two effects the reduction of the capex by uh, approximately uh, 35% compared to CO2, for example, but also the reduction of the opex because we have some things, uh, we have a uh, most energy efficient uh, system with this type of refrigerant uh, up to 15% uh, difference. Our refrigerant can be also used as boiling agent for insulation in the roof, in warehouse and cool rooms walls. We can improve the quality of the insulation by 20%, but also can be used in display cabinets in the uh, area uh, of the store, and we can improve the insulation performance by uh, 20%. The last application is the heating and air conditioning. By using our refrigerant, for example, in a reversible system, provided heating and cooling, and we can uh, substitute the gas boiler, and then we can reduce the uh, energy uh, consumption by up to 60%. Uh, now, uh, I give you here a summary of uh, solution can be used for different cases for uh, stores. The first one is for retrofit and remodeling. So the solution depends on the size of the store itself, from the small ones to the large one. And generally speaking, we have two solutions. The first one is the R515B, which is an E1 solution with low GWP less than 300. So it's only for retrofit. It can be used for medium temperature in different types of uh, equipment, in condensing unit, in integral systems, in semi-centralized system, in chiller and direct expansion uh, system. We have also, and we push for another solution, which is A to L, low GWP less than 150, based on 455A, which is A to L, and can be used easily for condensing unit, but also can be used for semi-centralized and chillers. In this case, please be careful about the maximum charge by circuit because the circuit size, uh, it depends on the quantity of the uh, refrigerant by, by circuit. The maximum one for this refrigerant is 84 kg by circuit, so we need to be careful about that. Another panel of solution for a new systems, so the same uh, approach, uh, we have two uh, refrigerants, 
R4 size size A, which is A to L low GWP, and ZD, which is a ultra low GWP, uh, approximately the uh, one. And this solution can be used for different type or different size of stores. Uh, the uh, Alpha TX less than 150 can be used both in medium and low temperature in different type of uh, system, in condensing unit, integral system, semi-centralized, chiller, and direct expansion. Uh, for the ZD, one, two, three, four ZD, it's only applied for medium temperature and can be used for condensing unit, for semi-centralized, and for uh, a chiller. Now, in the rest of the presentation, we will be focused on this segment of the market with a case study in Corsican uh, hyper market. So the localization is here, is in the south of France, and this is the baseline uh, for this case study. So we speak about a hyper market of uh, more than uh, 4,000 square meter. It was an old central unit with R404A and display cabinet with open doors. For this project, the uh, purpose of uh, the end user was very clear. He asked us to have something uh, completely new to meet the new customer expectation in terms of local product, for example, uh, fresh product. More and more uh, customers are looking for this type of a product, for it and vegetable and so. The second objective of this uh, end user was to minimize the uh, capex and to uh, maximize the energy uh, saving, so to, to minimize the energy consumption. <laughs> Another uh, key point for this project was the operation excellence. Why? Because for this type of application, financial loss of claim related to refrigeration can be a representative of one uh, uh, of uh, the yearly operation margin. So it's a huge in terms of impact if we have some dysfunction of the system, uh, some uh, waste of, uh, of product, it can be impacting on the financial uh, uh, operation uh, margin for the uh, store uh, itself. And uh, for sure, we need to have some solution compliance with European regulation, especially with gas, but also for the pressure uh, equipment uh, directive. So, we have proposed uh, many uh, solutions, among them uh, CO2, but this solution of the CO2 was quickly rejected for different or for several reasons. The first one is the higher temperature in the summer. Here you have an example of what, what happened this summer in Corsica, we reach approximately 40 degrees C. And if you see the story of the temperature, we see that this temperature will increase and increase in the future. So the impact of the temperature of the performance is huge. And we need to have some things can be available and can be efficient now, but can be efficient at the long term. So the CO2, it don't make sense in this uh, case uh, of study. The second uh, key point is the maintenance. We need to have a quick answer if you uh, need to uh, make uh, the maintenance. So the access is very key to, uh, to the room machine and to make the maintenance 25-25 uh, hours. Another uh, factor is uh, typically in Corsica is the poor quality of the electrical network, especially in the summer, corresponding to the higher energy demand for the uh, super uh, market. But also, and this, we know that the CO2 solution is uh, or present uh, some difficulties in terms of uh, TCO because the capex is higher, the energy consumption can be also higher, and the risk for the maintenance can be higher. For all this reason, 
the solution based on 455A Apparently, it's obvious that meet all the customer requirements. Now, to uh, compare this solution to others, we have made some simulation to compare the three solutions together. The baseline is this one. It's two uh, centralized right working with 404A, one for medium temperature, and another one with, uh, for the uh, low temperature. And we compare this baseline to two solutions. One is based on booster CO2, and another one, what we have finally implemented, is based on 455A for medium temperature with water loop, and direct expansion for uh, low uh, temperature. Here, you have an idea about uh, the cooling capacity for medium temperature and for low temperature. So we speak about roughly a 300 kilowatt for uh, medium temperature and a 52 kilowatt for low temperature. When we compare all this data, so we have this result. If we consider this point as the baseline, you have here the comparison between full 455A with a secondary loop for medium temperature and direct expansion for low temperature and the CO2 uh, solution with booster. So here you have the financial impact and here you have the environmental advantage. What we see here is this solution provide 30% capex saving and 10% of this reduction because the energy consumption is lower. In terms of CO2, we have some things equivalent, even better with 455A by 4%. So all details are given in this table, and if you need more uh, information about this calculation, I can uh, answer your question after. So now, uh, in real life, the implementation of this uh, solution uh, was like this. So here you see uh, some photos about the rack installed in the, uh, roof, uh, in the uh, room machine. So we have installed uh, two uh, medium temperature chiller of uh, 300 kilowatt uh, each one, working with the 455A to produce the cold water at minus eight, minus four degrees C. The Bligol uh, water uh, uh, distribute uh, both the cold rooms and the display uh, cabinet separately to increase the flexibility and the uh, excellence uh, maintenance. And one rack of uh, low temperature uh, of 60 kilowatt in direct expansion uh, providing uh, cold at minus 30 degrees C, and the point of design was up to 42 degrees C at external or ambient uh, temperature. Here you see also a tank of uh, water, about 2,000 uh, liter water tank with two uh, different pans. And here you have an idea about the total charge of refrigerant in this uh, hypermarket and you can see that the total charge is not very higher. The reason why is because we use indirect expansion uh, uh, for the medium uh, temperature. Other photos about the implementation of this solution. Uh, so we have installed uh, 210 meter uh, display cabinet for a medium temperature with XCAL uh, solution, uh, 48 meter uh, display cabinet uh, from Carrier for low temperature, and in total we have 35 uh, room, uh, cold rooms, uh, totalized uh, 134 kilowatt uh, cooling capacity, and three cold rooms for uh, low temperature for a total of 24 uh, kilowatt. 
You see here also the condenser. So we have two condenser, one for MT with five fans and one for LT with the three fans. Finally, I would like to uh, give a thank you for all our partners for this uh, successful uh, case study, especially for the end user, uh, HyperU, but also for the consultant, Garcia Energy, for the contractor, uh, Mika Hua, also for the OEMs provided the, uh, the machine and the chillers for this case study, IF Energy, and for sure for our distributor, Thank you very much.